Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my movie review of The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, the last excuse me, movie in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. There's my uh, ticket stop. You can see that. Ooh, can you see The Hobbit? Take my word for it. That's it. <laughs> anyway, um, this movie, um, again, it begins where the last one left off. You know, the last one left off was um, Smog. <laughs> Getting ready to, you know, heading to Lake Town to get rid of it after being chased out of uh, the, you know, the dwarves' uh, uh, kingdom, and the movie picks up exactly where that left off exactly, and we have a great opening sequence with uh, a smog just basically laying waste to uh, to Lake Town, and it's just, you know, and and remember Bard uh, played by Luke Evans was locked up. At the end of it, so he's trying to break out of jail. Though I, you know, the town is fleeing or trying to flee from smog, who's destroying the town. And back, you know, uh, the dwarves are celebrating, and something's different with um, with uh, you know, the leader. What's his name? Theron, right? I think it's his name. Oh, let's make sure. I can never remember the names. With with Thorn, he's not the same. In fact, they they uh, throughout the movie. I don't want to spoil the movie too much, but uh, he's acting different. Uh, 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 Thor and since they've, you know, won their homeland back, he's acting decidedly different. And if you can see from the trailers and the clips and stuff, um, he's acting decidedly different. And basically, the people in Lake Town have to basically, you know, flee and and also this is the battle of the fire armies because what happens is a certain incident happens and. You have the orc army, you have the uh, elf army, and the dwarf army all descending <laughs> upon the mountain where the dwarfs are, and they basically all are laying claim to, because of various reasons. Thorn made a deal with Bard in the last movie to help, you know, that he would help the people of Lake Town, you know, for, you know, they made a deal, and like I said, he's acting, he has a, um, I guess they call it in the movie, this is, I guess, this. A minus ball, they call it Dragon Madness, and I'll let you see the movie to see what Dragon Madness exactly is, but he's acting decidedly different. And B Bobo is, uh, Baggins is all, is trying to reason with him, and at the same time, you also have, um, remember Gandalf at the last, uh, movie, he was locked up, uh, and he, he's in a bad way. <laughs> okay, and I don't want to spoil what happens to him. Okay, and also at the same time, you have, uh, what's called character, uh, can't think of her name, uh, which I kind of like the little, uh, little romance. Uh, it's Killy, yeah, Killy and uh, and the elf. Uh, what's her name? Played by uh, the chick from Lost, which I can't remember her name now. Uh, hold on, let me let's have a look it up. Uh, you know they had the little uh, romance. I can't. Uh, what's her name? Why can't I think of her name? The one who played uh, Kate. I can't think of her name. <laughs> and but she was a. Uh, they have, the, they have the little moments in this movie as well. And I like the way this movie actually wrapped up, okay? You have these battles, you have all these armies, uh, you know, fighting against cross purposes. And then other armies come in, and and it's emotional. And it did have me tearing up towards the end. I mean, you have that little bit of romance in there. And it, I, it, I like the way it concluded. It did conclude in a nice, satisfying way to me. And... You know, even though some things that happened towards the end of the movie I didn't like, but dramatically, yeah, it would, you know, made made sense in the movie. I mean, personally, I didn't like it, but dramatically, it made perfect sense in the movie. And I actually love this last uh, Hobbit movie. I thought it was great. I know the per a lot of people don't like the first movie so much. I liked all three of them. If I had to pick which one was the best to me, I thought I did like to... This one was kind of emotionally satisfying to me, so, uh, but I, I guess if I had to put them in the order that I liked them, I guess it would be, I guess it would be two, three, and one like that. I guess it would be the second movie first, then the third movie, and then, you know, the first movie, I guess in the order of me liking them. The third one I thought was more emotional to me and had me kind of, you know, this last movie had me kind of tearing up, and it is a shame that you, well... I don't know if they're ever going to revisit Middle Earth, but this was a nice uh, trilogy of films. 
not as good as the, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but I thought this was actually pretty good. And uh, hold on, I'm going to get this chick's name. I can't remember. Which is driving me crazy. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Because I know she was completely made of character uh, from different from the books. But um, I can't think of her name. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Uh, I liked her little moments with uh, the Killy. Played by Aiden, Aiden Turner. And their moments were nice. And I know a lot of people say, well, she's a made-up character in the book, and how could they, uh, Evangel Lily, that's her name. She played, uh, Taro, right? Taro, right? Taro, yeah. And Lee Pace is, uh, the, you know, uh, you know, he played the fall of Lagos. He was there, and also, you also have, um, what's called was in this too, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kate Blanchett, she was in there too, and she plays a part in, uh, and Gandalf's story, which I don't want to spoil. She played def a definite part in Hugo Weaving is in this as well. And Christopher Lee. Okay, and and you can tell by uh, his comment in this movie that which they, I, I know they threw that in just to purposely because you know what happens in the Lord of the Rings movies with his character. So I like the way they kind of tied that in. And like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Like I said, this movie is only about two hours and a half, I think. Hold on, but I think about two hours and a half, not as long as the other movies, but I, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. And like I said, it was emotional, and it really got to me. And I like all the performances. I like Richard Armitage's uh, Thorn. I thought he was, he was really good as a guy that was basically changed and had dragon madness. <laughs> and I thought uh, uh, Mark Freeman as Bobo, as Bil Bilbo Baggins. I say Bobo. Bilbo Baggins is great. And Ian McKellen is always great as Gandalf. Okay, and I like I like the story. I love the battle sequences and fighting in the armies, and I always love that too. And I love the whole Middle Earth uh, thing, and, and I have no problem with this movie. I have no problem uh, giving this movie a uh, giving this movie a nine. I really enjoyed this movie, and a nice, satisfying conclusion to me to this Hobbit trilogy. Okay, and like I said, I don't think it's as good as the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but I still think it's you know you know, still right up there. Okay, I, I just love the whole Middle Earth world and love what Peter Jackson does with the story and stuff. And I have, no, you know, no problem. I love the beats in this. I love Luke Evans in this. Uh, you know, he played Bard, who uh, basically had to try to save his village. And he plays a key part later what happens in the movie, too. And I have no problem with this movie. I really, really enjoyed it. And I can't, you know, recommend it enough. And I can't wait to... I know they'll probably put a box set out on this too, you know, <laughs> later uh, later uh, next year, probably they put out a box set of all the deleted scenes and all that stuff, and I'll be getting it because I'm a sucker for the whole Middle Earth thing. I actually love the stories and love the characters, so I'll be there. And I'm going to miss the Middle Earth, so, um, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, maybe I'll revisit it sometime later. Who knows? Okay, but I'll be there if they do. Okay, because I just love the whole Middle Earth thing. Uh, Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Of, uh, if you've seen the Battle of the Five Armies, feel free to leave comments down below. If you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. This is Trey Passer saying so long and take care.